Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. Okay, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay, anything the enemy has stolen from you is returned to you. It's being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. Okay, so someone, there's a group of people <laughs> celebrating behind the scenes. They may have had some type of meeting and decided to either take something that belongs to someone and there is someone in here that is extremely toxic but wants to be seen in some type of light that's not theirs is what i'm getting okay there's someone that has been pretending to be something that's not theirs and they don't know that they are exposed okay there's a group of people celebrating some type of thievery, like either they successfully stole something or they have a plan to steal something and they think that everything is going according to plan. Everything is as expected is what I'm hearing. These are some toxic people. There's someone in here that pretends to be in the upright, but this is a karmic person. This could be a karmic couple as well, trying to steal something that belongs to someone else, okay? Someone is very hopeful that things are going in their future. They think the whole thing is figured out. All the ducks are lined up. All the I's are dotted. All the T's are crossed. They were waiting for some type of message and they've received the message or they may be sending some type of message. There is some type of ulterior motive like people are planning to do something to another energy and they don't know that this plan is exposed. This could be like a toxic couple that's planning this to do something to someone just to end them so that they could receive something that does not belong to them. Yeah, something like that. There could be a woman in here as well that's being exposed that she did something behind the scenes to cause an ending for someone else uh, so that she could receive something and it's all being exposed. All of these people are living in fear and anxiety. They expected someone else to be living in fear and, and uh, anxiety. It's like they were expecting to hear that you were down and out, you were depressed, having anxiety, having PTSD, all kinds of stuff. But that's not what they heard. Instead, there's something where they are confused. They don't know how things are going to end out. They thought they knew what was going to happen, but they don't. Okay? The moon out here is giving me ulterior motives. It says someone is, someone is trying to pretend to be something they're not. Someone is trying to steal something. But in the public, they're trying to act like everything is okay. They're still happy. Blase, blase. They're loving, things like that. But this person has ulterior motives. There, there's a lot they're hiding. They're planning to end someone, but they don't realize that they themselves are about to go through an ending. Okay? There's some type of, yeah. They're about to go through an ending. They're causing an ending for one person, for someone, maybe a family, and they themselves, they're about to go through an ending, okay? Yeah, this is definitely a collaboration. I just saw the Three of Pentacles. This is absolutely a collaboration. I'm dying to see what comes after this Knight of Pentacles, but this is absolutely a collaboration by a group of people who are already celebrating your downfall. You could be a King of, Pent a King of Cups, the King of Pentacles was coming out. So there could be a King of Pentacles going through this. Um, but there, there's a King of Cups in here as well. He either may have received an offer or may want to give you an offer. But there is absolutely something here. Maybe this person is just moving in silence, removing himself from this group. Maybe to connect with an Empress energy or something of that nature. Yeah, maybe a new beginning, taking his offer somewhere else. There's something like this going on, okay? There, yeah, removing, absolutely. He's removing himself from this group. Someone is seeing things from a higher perspective. Like he's 
learning the truth now about either a feminine character that has been in his energy pretending to be something she's not. Like something is exposed about someone, like their secrets and things like that. He may want to send maybe an information to someone and she's telling him, please don't, don't send this. This is going to end me. This is going to expose me. I'm going to be facing a lot of issues and things like that. I could get locked up. There's something like that going on here, but there is a masculine that may want to communicate with someone else and expose something to them. Also, there's a couple that's being looked into. They may be getting investigated as well um, because they've been doing a lot behind the scenes, either to steal something from someone or to just put something, in, someone in some type of unhealthy mindset. This is an occultist couple. The husband is the front row seat person and the wife acts from behind the scenes. This woman lives on life of, life of privilege because of the actions her husband takes. He's very low vibrational. These are people that don't mind stealing. And some of the people around them are thieves themselves. So they don't really see anything wrong with what this person is doing. And that's all fine and dandy until this day comes when they all have to eat their humble pie serve their karma and things of that nature okay but there could be a masculine that's separating himself from this group because he sees things for what they are maybe before he didn't quite understand what was going on yeah this person is healing i'm telling you this person is healing he's recovering he's worried someone yeah oh thank you source this is clearing up thank you source thank you source thank you source Someone is going through recovery. He's healing. He may be finding out that a feminine energy from the past or whatever did not betray him. And now he's feeling devastated because he may have taken actions with this coven, this couple, to do something to uh, a light worker, an empress energy, something like that. Some, someone who's genuine, someone who's true, right? And they may be worried about you now because they know that something is either being planned to happen to you or you may be going through some type of ending and they are worried about the role that they play in that. This is something that's going on, okay? But they know now that you didn't do anything to them. Someone may have told them or a group of people or a couple may have told this person that, they be, that you betrayed them. You did something to them, but he's finding out that you had nothing to do with it. Okay, there could be something uh, going on here as well about, a, about some type of property, but I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to be all over the place. A lot of the times when I'm doing my reading readings, I'm getting like different perspectives of a story and sometimes it gets a little bit just too much for me. So I'm going to stick with this plot, this storyline to just make things a little bit easier. Um, but this masculine is absolutely worried right he may be trying to communicate with you maybe wanting to come towards you to communicate with you and he's a little bit afraid that you're going to reject him because he's done so much behind the scenes uh trying to block your forward movement trying to block you from receiving victory um this is like you working on something yeah trying to block your success this is like some you working on something and people behind the scenes taking actions to block this and they're still walking about outside feeling good about themselves like they don't know what they've just done okay and this is someone who's showing up as a king of cups energy should be absolutely uh d disappointed in themselves because this is not the typical energy of a queen king of cups okay but this person is burdened they're burdened absolutely burdened okay they may be waiting to hear from you waiting about something i don't know if they're waiting to connect with you in work make some type of offer to you um someone also may be waiting to take something from someone but they're not going to be able to get it there's a whole lot going on here okay someone wants to work with you but they don't know if you're going to accept an offer from from them because they have secrets they have something they need to confess to you and they don't know how you're going to look at them after they tell you what all has been taking place. All of the things that has been going on behind the scenes, they're absolutely not having a good time. So just be mindful when this person comes towards you, they're coming with a heavy heart, a heavy mind, they're burdened, they're worried, right? Someone may be waiting to hear from you. It's like they sent a message, but they haven't heard from you. Maybe someone does not know that you didn't receive their message. Something like that. 
Someone is also burdened because something is being looked into. I'm telling you, this, this is being exposed. This is something being exposed to someone. Maybe you didn't know what was going on behind the scenes and it's now being revealed to you. But whoever you are that this has, this resonates with, you're going to be having some type of new beginning in work after a horrible betrayal. Someone has been trying to block or put an end to the truth being exposed. You may be someone very gifted. You're like sharp as a two-edged sword. You know exactly what you see. And someone or a group has been trying to block the truth from being exposed, but it's already exposed. So all of their efforts are in vain. Okay? This was how everything was always meant to be. Someone knows that you are skilled. You're telling the truth. You have nothing to hide. They want to build with you. Build an empire with you. So it's not just business. This has to do with romance as well. Someone is learning the truth about their family. The things their family does behind the scenes for money. Okay? For money. Someone may be realizing how toxic their family really is. Yeah. Yeah. They're learning the truth. This is what it is. This person is now learning the truth. I don't know if this person has been living under a rock. You know, some of us, we love our family members so much that we'll be the last one to find out how dirty, how low down and dirty our family members can be. And when we find out, it's a burden. It is a burden. There's a couple out here that's absolutely burdened. They're worried. They're stressed because they're exposed. They're being investigated and looked into. Maybe they didn't expect this to take place. I think I warned someone a while back on my channel that they were being investigated. And I think someone didn't take it seriously, but I think they found out that they are being investigated. There's a whole group being looked into. The whole time they've been trying to torment people, sabotage people. They've been being looked into, okay? And they're worried. They are worried. Someone was expecting something to go in their favor, either in the justice system, in the court system, something with the IRS about a property. They cannot have that. Something is going to be recovered and returned to the owner. Okay? Something is going to be recovered and returned to the owner. Someone has, like, someone has brought a lot of burden on themselves, either a couple or a coven, a group. Again, source is revealing to me that this, these people are going from this to this. Actually, this is not them. This is really them, but they pretend to be this. Okay, so this is the truth about who they are. And it's being exposed. Like these people, there's something about a document that was audited or edited to make it look like something. And they didn't realize that someone would catch on. They could be like a private, P, a private uh, investigator, like a PI in here somewhere. But things are being looked into. Questions are being asked. There's an investigation going on and people didn't expect this. This is like people doing something and then saying that you were involved in it, but you had nothing to do with this. You had nothing to do with it at all. And someone, either a PI or some type of law enforcement officer is finding out that you had nothing to do with this situation. And they're finding out about a plan to either on a live someone or end someone. They may be paying a king of cups in some of your situation to come and betray you, but this man doesn't want to be part of it. This man is trying to heal. This man is not trying to cause burdens for anyone anymore. He wants to have a new life, new beginning. He wants to operate from his higher vibrational energy. He wants to be a better version of himself, okay? There's, a, there's something going on here where people thought that they were not, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, people did not think that people that, that they will be looked into. I think they thought that everything was hidden, like they were doing everything secretly. But there's that saying, everything in the dark always comes to the light. Nothing in the dark stays in the light forever. It will always be exposed. It will always be exposed. There's this saying in Africa, I'm just going to put it in the English terms. 
where it's like they say like uh 99 days for a thief one day for a master that means that a thief can steal for as many days as they want to steal and try to hide their hand hide their tricks and things like that but it only takes one day for the law for justice for karma to catch up to them and i think this is what these people are going through absolutely this is what they're going through people have been paying like either a couple or a family has been paying other people to cause confusion to cause conflict all kinds of stuff behind the scenes about a star seed right uh, 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 someone who's a healer they've been paying people to cause a lot of confusions and this all has to do with money with money it all has to do with money either a job position a business you having some type of new beginning like people are upset that you are still able to manifest the life that you want the life that you deserve like is that someone thought they had blocked some type of collaboration from coming together either a union or uh, of work or a union of love something like that but you're still having this brand new passionate beginning it's still going to be fruitful. There's a ten of cups out here. So you two will still be getting together. It will be a solid union, right? And you will manifest a new beginning. They're trying to make this as difficult as possible. They are trying to shake someone someone up, emo up emotionally. Like they're playing with someone's mental and their emotions. But whoever this is, they already know the truth. These people are confused how you're healing. How is it that you're staying calm? right they've been causing all of this conflict for you and they're trying to want they're trying to figure out well how is this person not losing their mind someone relies on magic a lot behind the scenes that's all they know they don't even know themselves they don't have an identity without involving themselves in black magic right causing a lot of illusions and things like that and they they have the audacity to compete with you how can you compete where you don't compare right it's delusional as a dark worker, to think that you can compete with someone who's a star energy or an empress energy, that's delusional. Like that, That's some serious magic you're doing when you think you have a place to actually compete with that caliber of an energy. Like People don't even need two senses to see a dark worker is dark. Some people, they spend their whole life learning how to mask their darkness and you can a light worker can look at them in like one second and be like, you're dark as heck. You are as dark as they come. You, you can't hide nothing from me. But you know, we as star seeds, we don't even say anything. We just look at you and let you go and go on about your sneaky ways, your slithery ways. We just let you go on about that. Why the whole time you're believing that we don't know what you're doing? We're just watching you slither around. Going from snake to snake, snake to snake, okay? A lot of illusions, conflict. They don't want this person to have a new beginning. They don't want you to heal. They want someone to see you in like a negative light, something like that. Say, hey, that person is a dark energy. And that person is like, uh, if they're dark, then I don't know what you are. Because <laughs> that person doesn't even fit in with you all. Remember, you re I'm telling you, it's a tower. Remember, you all rejected that person. These Some of you were around these people, and they rejected you because you are nothing like them. You stood for the truth. You are nothing like them. But they want some type of energy, a masculine energy, to believe that you're dark. And everything is being revealed to him. Say, hey, this person that told you betray you, they didn't betray you. This person that told you that release your secrets and stuff, they didn't do any of that. Okay? He's finding out that he was actually dealing with a genuine energy. So he may be trying to manifest some type of new beginning with you. Okay? Some type of new beginning with you. I keep seeing the tower out here. There's some type of divine intervention going on. It said your enemies were celebrating. Oh, yes. We defeated this person. And then, dun, 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 bum, 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 what's behind door number one? Oh, shoot. Right, endings. All of these people manifest their endings for themselves. It's all I can say. 
they don't really have anyone to blame but themselves. This masculine is so burdened, I'm telling you. This masculine is so burdened. These people are still trying to cause confusions and things like that to an emperor. It's like they don't want this emperor saying the truth about you. But this emperor knows the truth. They are worried that this emperor is going to bring balance into a situation. Guess what? He's still going to do it. Someone knows the truth about a group of people, about a feminine energy that was in his vicinity. <laughs> vicinity. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Someone is awakening to the truth about a feminine energy, a karmic energy that has been in his vicinity, right? This is someone that has been pretending to be something that she's not. And maybe this emperor didn't know before, okay? But now he's in the know about it. Yeah, it's all being cleared up for him. He knows the truth now. There's also an emperor in here that does a lot of mental magic. This is the master of illusions as he considers himself to be. But nothing he's done has been able to block you from receiving your ten of pentacles. It's still coming in. Okay? It's still coming in. It's still coming in. There's something in here I want to say to a star seed, but I can't because these karmics are always watching. So if I say it... They're going to know and they may try to take action to interfere with your life or something. So I'm just going to leave it. You, you'll you be okay. That's all I'm going to say. Like these people, they be, they be trying it. You know, like these, these karmics will be watching. They watch and watch just like you're watching so they can know what to do to block. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. Someone is burdened because an emperor still sees you as wish fulfillment. He still wants to work with you. He still wants to build with you. Someone, is, someone may be defending your character behind the scenes as well. It said they've been trying to confuse this man about you for so long. And he's still st still set. Someone, someone is very loyal. Or maybe they're learning how to be loyal. They're realizing that you are a loyal person so he's choosing to do the right thing because too much has been exposed they may have been trying to pay for like something for this masculine this father figure this boss or something to block your forward movement or block your finances something like that for some of you and he's refusing to do that because he's realizing what it is he's been involving himself in you're going to be connecting with a masculine that is absolutely successful in life. You two will be building together. And there's something in here I'm seeing as well. I just cannot tell you because I know for a fact that there are people watching me and reporting back to the karmic, to karmic veil so they can interfere with certain things. So I'm not going to say what I'm seeing, but it's going to be a okay whoever this message is for. Okay? It's going to be okay. Like, don't, don't lose any sleep over something. Yeah, do not lose sleep over it. Yeah, I'm telling you. I am telling you. They're trying to make some type of new beginning really difficult, but you're going to be okay. You are going to be okay. <laughs> Is there someone believing? Yep, I've wiped out my enemies. I've wiped out my enemy. Really, it's one. They consider you to be their enemy. This is a whole group, a friends group. They've uh, recruited other people from outside and included them in something. This is like the toxic part of Tessetti. Tessetti was not a toxic place when it was in existence. Um, but what I'm saying, that Tessetti was like a, they called it a mixing bowl because it was a place of diverse cultures, cultures from all around the world went there, resided there, right? That's why it's called the mixing bowl. This is a mixing bowl of karmics. This is a mixing bowl of karmics. Too many hands were in the bowl. Too many hands were in the pots. It's too late to take hands out, okay? And they all believed that you were their enemy when you did nothing to them. Someone didn't understand. A group of people didn't understand that this had everything to do with greed. Someone wanted to be chosen over another person and they've been told that they're not 
choosing them. So they got desperate, basically. Someone got really desperate and started taking actions. This could be a couple of feminine energy. There's a whole lot of energies in here, right? There's a whole lot of energies in here. You're going to be stepping into some type of new beginning. Some type of new beginning. You could be a queen of pentacles. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. You're going to be stepping into some type of new beginning and you will be fulfilled. You're going to get what's yours. People, I don't know if people expected your actions to like have you living in fear, hiding or something, but you're not hiding anymore. There's an emperor that's letting go of his connection to a toxic group. He's not hiding anymore. Like if someone has emotions for you, they're not hiding it anymore. Um, if someone has plans to work with you, he's not hiding it anymore. He doesn't care. He said, yeah, but I choose that person. I choose her. I choose him. I'm going to go work with them. That's where I see wish fulfillment. I know I'm going to be successful with that person. So that's what that emperor is doing. Yeah, this person is not hiding anymore. The four of cups in reverse, it says shrink back, boredom, come out of hiding, detached, move on from past hurts, build new relationships, regeneration, emergence. I'm telling you, someone is not hiding anymore. This emperor, if he was hiding his emotions, he's not hiding it anymore. He may be worried that you are going to find out about his connection to this toxic group or whatever this is, but he's not going to be hiding it from you. Someone is going to be very direct with you about what happened and they're hoping you'll understand, but they do want to work with you and offer you a solid thing is what I'm hearing. <laughs> a solid thing. I don't know what that means. A solid thing. <laughs> Maybe he finances. <laughs> what the heck is a solid thing, spirit? Solid offer solid life okay solid gesture okay spirit you're still being a little bit uh mysterious with this answer yeah they're coming out of hiding they're moving on someone is literally being an emperor in the upright they're taking charge of their life and moving on they may be coming to maybe defend Maybe they're defending you behind the scenes and you don't know it. They're trying to correct something. They see you as wish fulfillment. They're trying to make sure that things go in your favor so that you come out of the cold and have a brand new start in life. Someone is trying to help your life turn around, put balance back into your life. Your life was only out of balance because of what people were doing behind the scenes. They've been celebrating your downfall. It's like they've been celebrating an ending for you. It's like, yes, we destroyed this person. They don't even know. Why they were in, uh, wanting you to fall from grace. Why they were trying to destroy you. Most of these people can't tell you. One goddamn thing that you did to them. They, they can't tell you. But because of greed, jealousy, and envy. Insecurity, immaturity. That's all it is. But they can't tell you nothing that, they've done, that you've done to them. And if, you, and if you were to bring attention to something they've done. They're going to deny it to the day they die. This is how dark workers operate they're gonna deny everything they've done until the day they die so don't expect any type of confession when they're coming to confess to you they're coming to confess what the other person did not what they did to you okay but this emperor here is coming out of hiding he's trying to get over his burdens right and this is what he's doing taking charge and moving on he wants to grow in life he wants to improve yeah, they've been working really hard to confuse an emperor. Really hard. And someone is upset that he sees you as wish fulfillment. She's like, I've bent over backwards for you to see. Yeah, I'm telling you. Whatever they were trying to steal, they can't steal it. It's being blocked. Like, it's like, no, you can't have that. You 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 have about this time to return this person's property or money to them, or we got problems. Okay. Mm. I just heard someone say, I don't give a, like, S-H-I-T. Someone said, I don't give a S-H-I-T. <laughs> oh, my 
gosh. Dang, someone may be like giving his a piece of his mind to people behind the scenes. He's yeah, he's giving a piece of his mind to them. I keep hearing it. I don't get excuse my French. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it's what he's saying. I don't speak French a lot because it just sounds so weird coming from me. And I didn't grow up in a household where we cursed a lot. Every now and then <laughs> it, it'll come out, but it's like I don't really do it a lot. Yeah. This man don't care because he knows these people for what they are. He knows the truth. It's like someone trying to do something right, trying to fix something, and people keep telling him, don't do that. If you do it, you're going to be disappointed. This is not someone worth investing into. There could even be uh, someone that you work with, an emperor who worked with a king of cups, and he didn't know this king of cups was involved in this mess, paying people to have you put out in the cold, paying people to... He collaborated with this group and paid to have you put out in the cold. Have you homeless? All kinds of stuff. Maybe this emperor is just not coming into awareness about this. But someone behind the scenes, they're, they're giving people a piece of their mind. They are giving people a piece of their mind. And he's hitting the target. He said, you have the I have to return it. Yeah. Then someone has had it. They're fed up. They are fed up. Someone brought problems to a friend of his. He brought problems to a business. Uh, either he accepted some type of bribery and it has brought problems to a company. Or someone has been bribing people behind the scenes and it has brought problems to a company. It's like everything that was hidden is about to be exposed. And spirit is telling you all to stand your ground. You're protected. Speak your truth and leave it at that. Speak your truth and leave it at that. They've been trying to like manifest confusion, difficulties, complications for this emperor so that his business wouldn't be successful or he wouldn't be able to partner up with you or gave to you and it's just like no nah, that's not what we want yeah mm. someone may have taken some type of action yeah someone may have taken some type of quick action it's like they thought they had it all figured out. They took some type of quick action and they trapped themselves. It's not going in their favor. Someone is stuck. Someone has lost a lot of money because they participated in something they were not supposed to. Someone is very stubborn. It's like they were supposed to stop, but their ego got, a, got the best of them and they kept going, kept going, kept going. Because they thought they had enough money to do what they want to keep going and keep going. And now they're losing. They've lost a lot of finances. They're in remorse. Yeah, someone kind of uh, outdid themselves with this trickery. And yeah, they're going through a tower. And they're going to have to find the strength to make it through this one. They're going to have to find the strength to make it through this. I think they're trying to find the strength to make it through this. That's what I just heard. They're trying to find the strength. Someone was hopeful that they had manifested some type of new life for themselves. But if it's at the detriment of another person, uh-uh. It's not what you think it is. So they may have taken some type of impulsive action to cause you an ending, to block you, steal from you. They couldn't steal from you, so they tried to trap you. And then they ended up disappointed. They wanted you in a disappointing energy, but they're the ones in there. They're, someone is crying a lot. Someone is having a whole lot going on behind the scenes. They're trying to end this chapter. They may want to have closure with you, bring something to your attention, ask you for forgiveness and things like that. But they know it's not going to be easy. There could be a meeting going on to balance something out, defend someone, return to someone what belongs to them. Yeah. Mm, oh, someone may be passing away. 
Someone may be passing away or someone already passed away. Someone may have passed away. Either someone was really sick and passed away or someone is really sick and they may not be able to recover because the world has to do with ending one chapter and starting a new one. So it's the end of all this. Oh, man. Someone may be passing away or they already passed away. There's someone mourning the loss of a person. Oh, man. Okay. There's someone mourning the death of a person. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, someone has put the put I in that's just like depressed me. Uh someone is ending a chapter and planning to move forward. In pureness, like some oh man, that death thing is getting to me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, someone has put an end to a chapter and they're trying to now plan to move forward with their life. Um, mm, I'm gonna need like, ugh, mm -mm, and nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm. Someone is like seeing things clearly now. Someone may have like ascended. Some type of ascension is taking place as well. Whew. Okay. I imagine like it's my family member that passed away or is passing away. Okay. So, Lord have mercy. Someone is planning to kind of move forward in faith and hope. All right. Move forward in doing the right thing. Your pathway is clear. Whoever you are that's planning this, you're going through some, yeah, I was going to say ending, some type of ending in order to have a brand new passionate beginning. This is like the difference between your life now and your life that's coming up. Something is ending, so something new can begin, okay? And you may have been feeling like, oh man, if I end this chapter, I'm going to, I'm going to be stuck in the, in this, uh, I'm going to be stuck in like, forever like i don't know where my finances are going where am i going to get money from to do this do that you're going to be okay if you plan strategically on how to move forward with no ulterior motives and things like that to take from people steal from people trick people all of that like you have to live in pureness not trying to steal what belongs to other people not trying to break other people like just do things the right way and you'll be a okay and no one is a hundred percent correct all the time we all have mistakes that we make but the problem comes when that people try to highlight your wrong and hide their wrongs that's when the problem comes in is that hold on i know you're not talking about me getting one answer wrong or not answering a phone call yet you're here uh, uh stealing money from someone come on now but you want to tell people, oh, she don't answer her phone calls. She don't answer. He don't answer his phone calls. He's rude on the phone. Meanwhile, you're out here stealing from your company, stealing from someone's company, all kinds of mess. Come on now. You got to miss us with the BS. I just heard it's all clear up, cleared up now. Oh, I don't know if it's saying that it's all been cleared up being cleared up something is being cleared up there was some type of plan to cause someone an ending to like on a live someone but it's not going accordingly is that these people have been planning and planning and planning they're disappointed because they cannot end you you're still moving forward there was some type of plot to kill someone i don't know if it's for life insurance the fact that i'm seeing the four source out here it could have been for life insurance but they can't take you out you're moving forward. You are moving forward. Yeah. Protection from your ancestors. They're protecting you. You're moving forward and answering the call. You're the phoenix rising from the ashes. 
it's just like oh my gosh and some of these people don't even understand how it is that they were not able to take you out they've done this before these are people like that send energy to people hearts like they send magic to your heart so your heart can stop moving and they send death spells repeatedly to your heart and your heart is not moving i mean it's not stopping like you're still waking up every day like your heart is not stopping you're still moving forward. You're still alive. And they don't know what to do. Is, that, is she still alive? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. When is she going to die? Never. At least not because of your spell work. Like, they're frustrated with you. These people have done this before. They've stolen from people before. They've sent death energy to people before. Maybe it worked in the past. Or maybe it didn't work and they took matters into their hands physically or something like that. But for you... You're moving forward. You're heavily protected in your protection. Your level of protection is pissing someone off. It's pissing someone off. This is like you being right here in someone's face, but they can't touch you. That's how protected you are. The universe is that you can do all the trickery you want behind the scenes. You can cause all the confusions you want, but just know that you can't touch her. You can't touch him. And someone is pissed off about that. You are heavily protected. With the seven of seven of uh, uh, wands out here and the judgment card out here, the sun out here, you are heavily protected. And the fool, mm, you are heavily protected, and your protection is bothering people. They say, "Well, who the heck are you, and why are you disprotected?" And you're just going on about your life. Like, yeah, I'm a star see. And maybe they didn't believe it before when you said you were a star seed, and now they are believing it. They said, oh, this person really might be a star seed. Oh, might? You still don't believe? The universe is coming back in to make you believe. Okay? And they want they just want you to know you're protected, you're loved. Like you haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> People can lie all they want, but at the end of the day, the truth will still be the truth. You are still going to defeat your enemies. As long as you're in the upright, your victory is always ensured. You haven't done a thing to these people, no matter how how much how many lies they tell, how badly they want to believe those lies, they know the truth. <laughs> they know the truth. Okay? They know. They know they're full of BS. They did this for money. The money is not coming. Someone is no longer receiving payment for blocking someone's forward movement and it's causing a burden for them. They said, oh, we're not paying you this time. Because, you know, they know what's going on. They weren't supposed to find out that we were bribing you to keep them stuck. But now that they know, so we can't be paying you. What are we paying you for? He already knows. She already knows. And someone is devastated. They're about to be losing a home, losing their stability, losing quite a lot. Everything they were trying to manifest for you is happening to them. It's happening to them. And you're coming, I'm telling you, and you're coming out of a state of light and stepping into abundance, newness, and everything. Coming out of hiding. If you were, I don't think you were hiding. You were probably just keeping to yourself, maybe educating yourself, maybe improving and healing and things like that because of what these people have been doing. But you are coming out, you're victorious. I'm telling you, the universe has his hands all over this all over this <laughs> your victory the universe the universe has its hands all over it mm -hmm. yeah they were plenty and someone is in their mind they're stuck in their mind someone is stuck in their mind you know how someone like those entitled people when they get mad and they start throwing a fit they can't control themselves so they do that that someone is doing it behind the scenes like they've tried everything they've tried everything and nothing is that Oh, who is this person? I'm better than you. And the most I said, oh dear. She's at it again. She's throwing up food again. You may have some type of court 
situation that goes in your favor and then it's gonna piss someone off and they're gonna try to bring you legal issues you might want to be mindful about that it's a whole lot of situations going on in here it's a whole lot going on in here i'm telling you and you're still gonna be moving forward <laughs> Still moving forward. Yeah. This is you moving to the finish line. Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Queen of Pentacles. You put in all the work to achieve your goals. You would have been there faster if people weren't trying to uh, 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 interfere with your life. Your success, your work, everything. But that's okay. It's all divinely orchestrated. Someone is upset that a masculine is still moving on and choosing to be with a queen of pentacles who's actually a wife material, mother material, actually genuine, down-to-earth, business-minded. Okay? Someone is upset. Is that what? You're putting an end to this, to this situation, this toxic situation, and you say, yeah, I'm kind of done. Like, I want to heal. I want to know what it's like to be actually in a genuine connection with someone. I'm moving on. Will you move on to? No. No. Someone is throwing a tantrum behind the scenes. There's a masculine that's leaving. They're trying to... They're trying to trap this masculine every time he says, okay, I'm going to go. And I don't know why this masculine keeps talking to these people about his plans, sir. Whoever you are, why do you keep talking to these people about your plans? Like, why can't you plan mentally on how to, you know, execute your intentions? Why do you got to tell these people? I think it's because you've been around them for a long time. This might be like families, family members, friends, long-term friends. So it's kind of like hard to not tell them what it is you're wanting to do something like that you're showing up here as someone as a pushover or maybe your mental is easy to manipulate you or something like that you may want to find out how to put a gap on that and walk the heck away from these people because they don't have any genuine intentions for you you could be someone that's abundant maybe you being with a specific energy brings in a lot of money for these people so they're trying to hold on to you as long as possible you may want to be mindful there's someone in here that is sick. It's not the person that's passing away. There's someone in here that's sick. Either a child is sick, a feminine energy may be sick. There's someone that's sick. Then they may not, they may be going back home. They're going through some type of transition. I don't know who this is for. Mm. Someone may be being called back home. This could be a feminine energy that's going back home. Look at this. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles together. You all, you two are a match. You two are a match. Dang. No wonder they're trying to block you two from being together. No wonder. Mmm. Someone, someone is passing away. Yeah. I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles is walking away to find true love. He said, yeah, I want the real thing now. And he knows who he wants to be with. There's no questions about it. He said, yeah, I'm going to go heal. Eight of Cups. I want fulfillment in life. Eight of Cups. I want a genuine love connection. Ace of Cups. Okay. And this is all divinely orchestrated. This is his ancestors telling him to move on. And he's answering their call, listening to them. And he's moving on. He's moving on. Someone in here drinks a lot. I don't know what it is. Maybe you have something to say. and You're having a hard time saying it. But someone in here drinks a lot. You may want to put the bottle down. Someone drinks a lot. Yeah, you may you may want to put the bottle down. Put the bottle down, sir. I'm not even gonna say this because you already know. Put the bottle down. It's not healthy. I'm not saying that to judge you. 
it's okay to drink occasionally, but I think you have a drinking problem. Put the bottle down. It's not doing you any good. You're blocking your throat chakra because it's something you want to say. You're scared to say it, so you're blocking your throat chakra. You're not using it, and you drink a lot to keep everything in, to hold everything in. I don't know if it helps numb your emotions, but I don't think it's really working. So you just have some type of additions down to addiction to uh, the bottle. I'm sorry you're going through that. I hope you find healing and recovery because everybody deserves to be the best version of themselves. You're going to have to walk away though. Walk away. Put an end to this toxic because they're not helping you. If you have those kind of problems, these people aren't helping you. These are the kind of people where you tell them, I'm trying to stop drinking and they go and buy you a bottle of vodka. They said, oh, I forgot you said you were not drinking anymore. Just this one last time. That is not your friend. That is not your friend. Not your friend at all. You need to walk away. Find that emotional fulfillment you want in life. Spiritual fulfillment. Okay. You were causing a lot of confusions yourself in the past, and I think you're trying to make things right now. Trying to bring balance into a situation. You went from causing confusions about an energy or about a situation to wanting to have some type of brand new beginning with them. And that source is way of throwing karma on you. It's that the one so the one energy that you rejected. That's the energy that was supposed to help you heal. That's the energy that was supposed to help you elevate. That was the energy that was supposed to put you in your best energy, in the best version of yourself. You've had all these people around you for umpteenth years, and they've been keeping you in darkness and in low vibrational activity, never going out of their way to help you heal and find worth within yourself. I brought this person to you in your energy to help you, and you rejected them, and you tarnished them. So this is your karma in a way. That's what I'm getting. This is your karma you're going through. Whoever you're leaving, whatever you're leaving, an institution, an ex-wife, they're karmic as heck. You don't want to be with this person. You don't want to be with them. I'm telling you, you're protected. The fact that you, you're choosing to walk away is what's bringing this protection in for you. You've been trapped for a long time and you didn't even know it. You've been like a sitting duck and everybody has just been plotting on you and you're just, you've just been sitting there looking pretty. It's like, oh, yeah, 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 blasi, blasi, I'm happy. You know, I got the wife at home. I got the friends and family. I got the good job. I'm wealthy. And the whole time, every single one of them have been plotting on you draining you of your energy some days you want to leave and you don't know why you can't leave that's because there was magic some kind of magic <clears throat> the things i see you're gifted sir you're gifted you can't tell me nothing you're gifted with this eight of cups out here you're a king of pentacles the ace of cups and the temperance you're gifted you hide it <laughs> you hide it <laughs> There are too many cards around you that has to do with intuition. You are gifted. You hide it. Gosh darn it. You hide it. I can't. You hide that stuff. That's because you haven't been around people that embrace that side of you. Even if they do, they embrace the dark side, not the light side. So you have the light energy within you, but you have been around dark people, which is not an accident. That's how it was meant for you. So you can understand how dark energies operate. So then when you step into the light and the dark energies are trying to attack you, you know exactly what to do. And the person you're supposed to be partnering up with, you will know how to protect them. That's why you walk that path. It was not by accident. But now it's time for you to leave and you better better leave as soon as possible because, honey, your time is up 
in that situation, whether, it, whether it's with a wife, an institution, whatever it is. You've learned the lessons that you were meant to learn there. It's time to leave and go heal. Time to leave and go heal. Go heal. So you can become this higher version of yourself. I think the next time people see you, once you leave this wife, this situation, they won't even recognize who you are. You'll be like a whole different energy. They may have a problem with it, but you'll be at peace. You will be at peace. All of these people have been benefiting off of you living in your lower energy. Not really thriving honestly in life. It's like you have all the money, so they say, oh, well, you're okay. You're fine. You don't need nothing else. But you don't feel fulfilled. And that's the problem. Because you know deep down there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Yeah. There's something wrong. You're about to go through a whole transformation. Transition. <laughs> transition. <laughs> you're going through a whole transition. And it may feel uncomfortable for you. But you're going to be A-OK. -okay. It's necessary. We all had to go through it. You're afraid of going through this transition. You'll be OK. You will be A-OK. -okay. We all had to go through it. Those of us that genuinely took the time to heal, we, we went through it. I guarantee you. I've given a little bit of my stuff on here. And who? I'm not even going back. I'm not even getting into that. But you'll be OK. It's a transition. You're learning how to team that beast within. You have a huge one in you, too. I don't know why I just heard the word warlock. Warlock. So you're one of those control issues. Yeah, you have control issues. And you know this, Empress. If you're coming to a high priestess to gaslight them, sir, you know... You know something, you, you know this person, don't play with this person. Hopefully this is just a friendship cup. You're finding the strength to extend a cup of friendship to a high priestess. Now you know these are not energies to play with. So you may want to come with a, well, I think you will. So I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I think you're coming in to give a genuine offer to this person. Because you know they know, you know someone is a genuine friendship, genuine high priestess. You're terrified. You're terrified to communicate with them. You may have communicated with a, another high priestess before and she lied to you. Yeah, she lied to you. Now she's living in fear about what actions you're going to take. Because <laughs> you know whatever action you're going to take is going to bring balance into some situation. And she don't want that. Because it's going to expose her as a fraud. Fraud. She has a lot of fears going on. Why are the both of you afraid? Are you afraid about this new beginning being blocked and she's afraid to lose everything? Baby, we can't help her with that. We can't, I don't know. You, you're coming up as a little kiss of hopelessness because you're just all over the place. But we know you're going to be okay. Yeah, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. I feel like I had to take my time with this message today because it's just too much perspectives. Like everyone wants their story told. Everyone wants their story told. Mm hmm Dang, sir, once you go through your healing, you're about to be a force to be reckoned with. You're about to be a force to be reckoned with. Damn. And you're going to be reading people at the door. Like as soon as they say hello, it's a, uh, no. You keep your hello to yourself. There are like two high priestesses in here. One is alarming and the other one, she's like, mm, leave me out of it. My name is missing and I'm not in it. She's missing and she's not in it. 
She's garnering her power to keep moving forward. She's taking charge and moving forward with her life, making the right decisions in life. And then the other one, mm, let's leave her be. Someone was abusing their power. Someone is, yeah, someone is abusing their power or works abusing their power. Someone does not know how to let go. They've been trying to drag something out. They want to prove that they're in control. Ruthless actions, malice, heart, hard-headed, abuse of power, ulterior motive, critical, vitriol, negative influence of other men. Someone has, abu has been abusing their power. The magician has to do with you having power, that you have power of the spirit and the physical, and you are a master at combining those two and balancing them out, and you know how to utilize those powers and gifts in order to make sure things go in your favor, but someone abuses that. Someone abuses that power, and someone is being exposed. They're corrupt. They're disingenuine. This is someone that knows how to make things go in their way, in their favor, in the wrong way. And they're being exposed. Someone tells a lot of lies. Someone is corrupt, corrupt and corrupt. They're power hungry. They are power hungry. This is someone that may try to force you to fall in love with them. And you're like, no, I don't care what magic you use, what lie you tell, what kind of force you're using. I'm still not falling in love with you. That's not how that works. It's something like that. Someone is very much of a, I don't know. Yeah, they're going through an ending too. I don't know what to call this person, but they're going through some type of rude awakening, some type of humbling experience. They thought they were all powerful. Someone takes a lot of pride in their magic, but it's turning out that the magic that they use is not that powerful. It's like playground magic. It's a lot of illusions, a lot of like trick trickery and things like that. And when you see this person, this is not someone that you are expecting to be behaving in that manner. They're trying to interfere with justice or balance being brought into a situation. I want clarity on this now. Someone may be upset angry that balance is being brought into a situation they have to let go of something i'm telling you because someone is standing their ground they're upset that you are standing up for yourself a lot of the high priestesses empresses and things like that in this year has have not been taking bs from anyone they say i don't care how many people are against me i am still going to be standing up for myself you're not about to push me over i'm not roaring over like a little cute dog or something a cute puppy okay they're standing up for themselves so things are going gonna go in your favor for standing up for yourself now we don't know how this is going to turn out completely but the universe wants you to know that you are supported for standing up for yourself following their instructions and things like that but yes no your enemies are absolutely pissed off because you're choosing to stand up for yourself i'm telling you you're choosing to stand up for yourself you could have a woman in here that's trying to Send you some type of message to get you out of balance, make you feel uncomfortable, something like that, want to talk to you. But she already knows you're with the BS too. But you do it diplomatically and tactfully. And you do it in a way where it humbles people. You're like, oh, I think I picked a fight, picked a fight with the wrong energy. You're then skippy, you did. You know a lot of empresses when you meet them or uh, star seeds when you meet them, they look chill, unbothered, right? They're just kind of relax, 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 relax. It's like nothing is going on bad in their life. But if you look in, there are things going on, but they just know how to compose themselves and manage things, right? Handle business. So sometimes these unhinged energies, when they see you, 
And this card here, when it came out, it was trying to come out in the reverse. I put it in the upright, but I know this woman is not in the upright. Anyways, when they see you, those types of energies, they think they can try you because you look meek and feeble. And then they F around and find out they're like, I'm better at magic than she is. I'm smarter than she is. I'm prettier than she is. And that empress will just sit back and watch you. They're watching you. It's not like they don't hear what you're saying. They're just waiting for you to bust a move. And as soon as you bust a move, you live to regret it. Someone is about to go through that. Someone wants to send you some type of message, some type of communication. They think it's going to hurt your heart, break your heart or something. And you're just going to be looking at them, pitying them that they reside in that energy. Okay? Someone has karma coming to them. They don't know that they have karma coming to them. Or they're going through some type of ending, so they want to bother you. They say, he rejected me from you, so I have to bother you. I just want you to know that he sleeps around, and he does this, and he does that. And the whole time you're looking at her and him, like, what the heck is going on with you people? You need to figure out your stuff. Like, leave me out of it. Figure it out over there. This is one of those unhinged people. I'm telling you, she's going to. <laughs> she's going to her ending since it's having karma. Oh my gosh. The source is always on it. I'm going through her ending. Everybody's fighting with me because of what I did behind the scenes, what I tried to do to you. It's all exposed. So I want you to feel the way I'm feeling. And it's like, ma'am. No one messed with you in the first place. You went looking for your own trouble. I don't need to know what you feel like. That's your business. You asked for that energy. Someone is going through a whole lot behind the scenes. She's being rejected. No one wants to talk to her. People are keeping their distance from her. A whole lot. Meanwhile, you're about to be moving forward. Things are being balanced out in your life. Someone thought it could be a better version of you. If I just pretend like I, I know the same things she does. <laughs> if I just pretend like I'm healed. And it's like, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma that's not how that works. You can only keep up that facade for so long. You can only keep up that facade for so long. All of these people are going through towers. Towers upon towers. And they didn't expect this. They said, all we did was try to curse this person. All we did was try to end this person. All you did? Did you just say all you did? All we were doing was just bullying her and just mentally, just playing with your mental. All we did was just bully him and just play with his mental, make him feel unsafe and things like that. But we weren't really going to do anything. It was just a game. And your ancestors are like, well, this is just a game too. Want to play? You don't want to play? We want to play. Your ancestors are out here being chucky. Want to play? And you're like, mm, they're like, no, we don't want to play. <laughs> Meanwhile, you have a front row seat in your little chair, popcorn on the side, drinks, everything ready. And you're like, let the show begin. And there goes a karmic falling out. I'm telling you. <laughs> There goes a karmic falling out, losing her job, everything. Dang. I said falling out and the seven of pentacles comes out in the reverse. What does this mean? Overinvestment behavior. Neglect financial situation. No return. Unsatisfactory. Chaos. Focus on the facts. Denial. Avoid. I'm telling you. Mm. Dang. Dang. Someone putting a whole lot of time and effort into taking someone else down when they should have invested in their healing and balancing themselves, educating themselves. Girl, sir, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? Mm -hmm. What were you thinking? Uh huh. There's a decision to be made. Someone said they were going to receive something, but you're receiving it. 
for someone out there, you're not going to be receiving a promotion, but you will be receiving some type of marriage offer. Someone wants to marry you, partner up with you, grow with you, grow old with you is what I mean told to say. So you're not going to be working with this person. You may be marrying this person. There's something he may be going back and forth in his mind. Should I make her this financial offer? Should I make, should I make her this love offer? Should I make him this financial offer? Should I make him this love offer? They're going back and forth in their mind. There's also something going on in the justice system. It's a whole lot going on here. But honey, it's going to be a-okay. And then what do I do? I don't want to alarm them. I don't want, to, want them to freak out. But someone has a decision to make. They have a big decision to make. Yep, I said it. This empress was going to come out. These empresses are standing their ground this year. Oh, look, we're done playing with you people. We've put up with too much of your buffoonery. We've taken too much from you. We can't anymore. So here goes the warrior side within us coming out. Hit us with your best shot. Here we come. Hit us with your best shot. And you know, we, we empresses, we try not to cause too much trouble when you're doing something. We'll disregard, it, disregard what you're doing just so we don't, you know, rock the boat because we value, we cherish our peace and quiet. We don't want to temporary or nothing like that. But for some reason, these dark workers, they, they want problems all the time. They don't care about peace and quiet. It don't matter to them. They want you to feel bothered, want you to feel worried because they're worried. Right? They don't know when the next when when they're gonna drop and just out of here because of all the dark energy they're sending to people. You have a woman that's trying to end another woman because she believes that this woman is the end of her is the cause for the end of her marriage, but she's not talking about all the deeds she's been doing behind the scenes, sleeping around, you know, using spell work on her husbands and things like that. Why did I say husbands? Huh? Madame, what is your secret? But all the dark work she's been doing on her husband to keep him bound there to her. A sister ain't talking about none of that. But because she knows that you are an empress, she said, mm, I got to take you out. So she spends her time doing dark magic, trying to take out another energy, feminine energy. And she can't. And it's bothering her. It's bothering her. This is what she does to keep other feminine energies away from her husband. She sends them spell work. Maybe it worked before, but you're a queen of cups. It's not working. You're gifted too. You're gifted. You're protected. You reside in that energy that the source cherishes. So you're naturally protected. And she doesn't understand why her magic is not working. And the universe is that will tell you why. We'll show you why. You just keep trying. Eventually, you'll get it. And she keeps trying and trying and trying. And they're like, oh, look at that. Look at poor little Ting Ting. She's not going to be ascending this lifetime. She is not going to be ascending this lifetime. She is just ending herself. Look at that. And she's entertaining us as well. Will you look at that? And she's just in there. Ting, 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 ting. Sending you those energies and they're not going through. It's like the credit card, the debit card, where you go to swipe it, decline, 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 decline. That's how her magic is, is going. Ding, ding, decline. Ding, ding, decline. Ding, ding, decline. Decline, decline, decline. He said, why is it decline? Why is it decline? Source, what is your advice to us? What would you like us to be aware of? Well, this message came around. This message sure came around because I, I was like, what in the world is going on here? You have people manifesting endings for themselves thinking that they're manifesting endings for you. Meanwhile, you're about to be in a privileged energy, growing in life, uh, uh, meeting your soulmate, higher level soulmate, going through a healing with them. Lord have mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. And he knows where you are. You may know who this person is, but he knows who you are too. Some of you don't know who he is, but he knows who you are, and he's watching you. He's watching you. Someone may be trying to type up a 
type up a letter. They've been trying to type up a long time and they've been too scared to send it, but they're finally going to, something like that. Uh, it's a lot of improvements going on here. And people have been trying to block this person from communicating with you, something like that. Anyway, source, what is your advice to us? What would you like us to be aware of? Thank you. Here we go. Okay, nine has been coming out a lot lately. Okay, we have 99, which is 18 and nine. Healing, com uh, completion, I mean, excuse me. A cycle is complete. Okay, a cycle is complete. Something is done. Something is finito. Divine interference is going on here. What was divided is being brought back together. What was stolen is being returned. Something is complete. Lessons have been learned. People are ascending like they're supposed to. Some people are descending as they're supposed to so that they can learn in order to ascend. So balance has been brought into those situations around the world. Okay. It said it is time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. Okay. So whatever toxic cycle you've been in where people have been trying to block your forward movement, block you from being who you're meant to be, that is all over with. It's now time for you to take charge and move forward in life. So that you can be who you're supposed to be and do what you're supposed to do. Okay. So we have 33, which is six. And it has to do with healing, positive movement forward. Okay. New beginnings and things like that. It says any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.